Hello, everyone. This is Modified Darvis Box, better known as MDB, coming to you with an update on the textbook Darvis Box list of stocks. I'm calling this video Wednesday Winners, simply because it's Wednesday. And I couldn't think of anything else. Um, uh, for people who don't know who I am, uh, my strategy is based on the book by uh, How I Made $2 million in the Stock Market by Nicholas Darvis. It's a classic book. You can find it on Amazon or for free on the web. Um, great book, considered a classic. Uh, and it's the basis for the strategy uh, uh, that I am using. Um, what is a Darvis box? Here is a bullish Darvis box pattern. Uh, it's basically a consolidation and then a breakout upwards. Here is a bearish Darvis box pattern, a consolidation and then a movement downwards. Um, what I try to do is I try to find the ones that are moving and catch them and make some money. But uh, I mentioned the changes to the textbook Darvis box list. Uh, this list is the list which I consider to be the best of the best. Uh, since, since the last video I did back on August 10th, there have been 11 stocks that came off the list and all of them came off because uh, they form new Darvis boxes. When they form a new Darvis box, I move them to a different list because they are at that point they are going sideways. Um, five new stocks were added to the list. So I'll show you what those uh, stocks were. But one which came off the list is AMD. Three weeks ago, AMD was breaking out. <laughs> yeah, uh, just kidding. It uh, was moving like it's going to break out, but then, yeah, it went the other way on some red volume back into its Darvis box. Another one that which has uh, been doing well but gone sideways is Crisp, CRSP, going sideways in Darvis box. GH. Yeah, that was breaking out. I was all googly excited about it. Uh, but then, whoops, no, it, uh, it's going back down into its Darvis box. I'm a little pessimistic about GH on this one. It just seems to have lost its mojo. Another one that went sideways and reported earnings uh, this evening is Okta. Um, but as you can see, it's gone sideways, formed a new box. Plan, same deal. Went sideways, formed a new box. Just had earnings. And, yeah, based on the red volume, I'm not sure the market uh, liked the earnings as much as some other people did. Another one which has gone sideways in a box that fell off the list, uh, SMAR. Snap is another one. Look at that. You get all excited on the earnings. Breakout, you know, we're making money. What does it do? It sells down, goes sideways forms another box, makes our life a living hell. TTD, going sideways in a Darvis box. And the other one which came off the list, Twitter, and uh, going sideways in a Darvis box. Now for the new additions to the list, FSLY. Look at this thing. This thing is a screamer. I've been reading that it could be a short squeeze, something like that if you – Play with this one, be careful, but look at it go. Man, I wish I bought this at 15. You know, so does everybody, really. But it's going higher at the moment, from what I can tell. Hubs, HubSpot. This one uh, broke out on earnings. Big green volume, working its way higher. Keys, I really like keys. Had earnings, big green volume, broke out of the box. Moving higher. PI is another one added to the list. This one has not broken out lately. This is one which I simply missed. You know, hey, I can't keep track of everything. You know, don't judge me. But uh, I did discover that it did break out of a box. It's been moving higher, and it looks pretty good. You know, we'll see how that one goes. And with the one more new addition is to Talaria. I I don't know. I can't figure out these company names sometimes. I wish they just called it something like Video Corp or something. But as you can see, this one had a potential breakout right before its earnings. Had the earnings itself. Whoops, sold off. But then, whoops, 
Yeah, went back up, and now it's broken out. Look at the green volume. They must have said or done something right because uh, it's getting big green volume every week here. So those are the new additions to the textbook list. Everything else is uh, doing great. And I think the theme, I've said that the textbook list is literally the best of the best. Literally, you look at these stocks and you, you, you wonder, where's the recession? Where's the trade war? You know, these ones don't know, don't care. AMT going higher, don't know, don't care. ARWR, don't know, don't care. Well, this was a little scary couple of days. Otherwise, don't know, don't care. AYX, <laughs> since the breakout in, in June, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 weeks upwards, 11 of them are green weeks, only one little red week. Don't know, don't care. CVNA, going higher, had a little volatile week last week, but otherwise, going higher. ENPH, going higher. Gold, going higher, don't know, don't care. Roku, going higher, don't know, don't care. Shack, same deal. Shop, same deal. Lastly, TSN, same deal. Don't know, don't care. But as you can see, the, this is why uh, I think these stocks are the best of the best at the moment in the market. And, uh, you know, we'll see what happens going forward. Hope you enjoyed the video. Talk to you later. Bye.